Uh, and now to the smoking gun, it is, as it is often referred to, the cosmic microwave background radiation, which is supposed to be the final proof of the Big Bang. Well, I'm sorry, it's not. Um, as everything, it's been wildly over-exaggerated. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's true, it's absolutely true. Wilson and Penzias deserved the Nobel Prize for discovering this back in 1964. They weren't even looking for it. In their horn antenna, they um, thought it was pigeon poop that was corrupting uh, their measurements. Then they thought it was interference from nearby cities that was causing this static. After exhaustive research, they discovered that this is coming from everywhere in the universe, at the same wavelength, all the time, everywhere. What is it again? It's 2.725 Kelvin, a 1.9 millimeter wavelength. I'll, I'll spare you the technical details. Don't let scientists fool you when they say that this proves the Big Bang, because it absolutely doesn't. All it proves is there was one event a long, long time ago, and it was very, very powerful. It doesn't prove anything else. And that fits the contracting matter theory to a T, just the same as the Big Bang. They don't know how to calculate how much of this is left after how many billion years because they don't know how much mass there was in the universe in the first place. Let me just prove this to you. They don't know where 90% of the matter of our own galaxy is. It would fall apart, or fly apart to be more exact, using current calculations. So they're assuming there's lots of dark matter in it. Well, so 90% of the matter of our own galaxy is missing, let alone how many hundreds of billions of other galaxies there are and don't you know imagine they've counted them because they haven't because they're still finding thousands and thousands of new ones all the time with the new telescopes that pick up galaxies in the infrared so there's absolutely no way scientists know how much matter there was so following e equals mc squared you don't know how much energy there was in the big bang because you don't know how much matter was there therefore the cosmic microwave background radiation is just a hiss from a big event a long, long time ago. It doesn't prove Big Bang. It's either Big Bang or contracting matter theory. Thanks again for listening.